hello guys welcome back so this is the testing episode so uh, testing episode of the group chat so let's begin i would like to run my server right so i found here error here so groups data dot group right that push is not a function So we have used that push here. Yeah. So actually, uh, if if uh, we are pushing data to the new group, so we need to push our data this way, this way. So then, otherwise, the data would replace this ID every time, right? So let's check it out again. So looks good so we have groups uh, who uh, every group have two object having uh, having respective uh, group id user id room and circuit right so basically i have a login with two uh, user here so this is the first user and uh, this is um, in the test group so and another user who is also in the test group right so this group so let's test the message so let's rerun this again so message is still not coming I send hi there so here is the message hi there right so if I send something from here hello and here is the hello message as well right so let's make it in the same screen So let's check here. The messages are coming, but what if I uh, reload this page? If I reload this page, and if I reload this page as well, look, the message is not going right. So when I reload this page, message is not going. But um, again, if I rerun my server. If I rerun my server, so message is going right. So message is going, but uh, when I reload this, uh, the system is not working. So there is a error somewhere. So uh, I intentionally generate this error to make you clear about the code, right? So I will go back to the code and so here is the error so what is happening here is can i read property broadcast of undefined right so look at our code here so let's go back to the join group function and if you see here carefully so when uh, if the user is already exist look at here if uh, 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 if a user not exist then what if user already exist right so else so what should we do here uh, actually when you reload the page when you reload the tab and on every reload uh, there will be new socket uh, the uh, tab the, uh, the browser will generate new socket so the socket keeps changing right the socket keeps changing but uh, look uh, the uh, in uh, groups uh, in our groups uh, array we have pushed our data and we have assigned the socket id as well and if user uh, do not exist we will push that data but what if user exist 
when um, we reload the data uh, and if that found user exists the socket is changing but that is not changing in our array right so i will uh, console that log to make you clear so so our data is console.log here is our socket id and we are also logging our groups and let's log uh, user id as well just to make it make you clear right so look at the console look at here we have two user in this group and user ID 7 has <coughs> socket ID <coughs> this socket ID right this is the socket ID of user ID uh, user ID 7 so you can also see here uh, sorry this is the socket ID of user ID 7 yes and this socket ID of user ID 3 so if you go here socket id here is the socket id and here is the user id this is and uh, if you if you uh, if you look at here you find the exact socket id here and you find the exact user id here and for this case you find the exact user id here here right so the exact user id sorry exact socket id this socket id and this socket id and you find the exact user id here 7 7 so respective uh, uh, user has a respective socket but what if i reload the page what if i reload this page look i am reloading the page right this is reloaded and now now look at here the socket id has been changed right here the socket id of user id 4 has been changed look at the socket id new socket id has been generated but we have old socket id in our groups um, array you got it right so again i reload another page here i reload this page and look the socket id uh, the uh, older socket id for uh, user id 4 was this uh, I'm sorry this this is the socket ID of user ID uh, 4 right but uh, we have uh, the new socket ID has been changed and this is the new socket ID so the so socket ID has been changing so socket ID has been changing every time you reload the page because every tab has new socket ID and every time you reload the page the new socket ID would be generated but in our groups message we have still uh, older socket ID so when you try to send the message look when you try to send the message uh, when you try to send the message that uh, socket could not be generated and uh, that is invalid socket that is not uh, could not be generated from the group set because socket id has been changed and um, the older socket id could not found uh, by the systems right by the socket by the socket.io so the, uh, the error has been generated so uh, i'm just uh, i just want to make you clear about the error here so and uh, now so what we need to do is let's go to the server.js and let's here if uh, user id do not exist 
we are doing good here but what if user id exists if user id exists so uh, we need to find the index index of that user id so bar bar index equals to groups data dot data dot group id dot map function so i'm just assigning value over here map function let's close that function so basically um, uh, what we are doing here is we need to find out the index of that user id who is already existing in the groups array so we are taking groups and then data to group id and then mapping the function as we need to return return o dot user id right so this will return the user id within the array and we need to find the index of this user id index of this user id so dot index of data dot user id so this will give the index of existing user id and then and then we will do the same thing we can copy this here right you can copy this here and you can paste it here we can copy this and paste this and we need to remove that index right we need to remove and only we can push it up uh, uh, after we remove that index right so first of all we are removing that user from the um, from the groups and then we are again pushing that pushing the new data with new socket id so i think that makes sense so groups data dot group id dot this will remove that index and one item right so this will remove that and one item and now we can rerun and check the console how this is working right so so let's rerun that server so this is the socket id this socket id first time always works right so this is and this is equal and this and this is equal so what if we reload new uh, reload the page the socket id the pre older socket id was this but now the new socket id is replaced by this right here is the new socket id so now the system should work properly we can test that yes the message is coming right so let's reload this you can test this between uh, the multiple user you can log in with another user as well and um, so i hope the, uh, you guys got it got my point and here is uh, so many things to make it better like you, know, you can update css uh, and you can add image here uh, here are so many things to work on so the the i think that the most of things you got it from here and i'm very pleased with you you guys uh, i i appreciate your time so i will creating more videos if you guys like this these videos then please subscribe my channel and like and share and subscribe because uh, if you subscribe and share my channel then i will get more motivation to make more videos so goodbye